Acute water shortage has become a normal routine for residents of Obuase and its environs. Inhabitants say they are used to enduring weeks of no water flowing through their taps. Water does not flow in the pipes, but we receive bills every month. Their option is to rely on groundwater or sometimes nearby streams to access water for domestic activities. Those who can afford buy sachet water for drinking purposes. A sachet water is now 50 pesos. We use a bag of sachet water every day. The Odasu water treatment plant which supplies treated water to residents is producing only half of what is designed to. For every normal plant, when we treat water, some amount of the water is used in the treatment process. And that's the amount of water we term as water use in production. And for a normal plant, this amount should be around 5% of the initial amount of uh, raw water that comes in. But for Odasu, uh, we are experiencing a case as a result of the Galam sale where about 50% of the amount is lost. Activities of illegal miners continue to pollute the Oda River. This is the Odasu Headworks intake point of the Ghana Water Company Limited, and the Oda River fits into the treatment plant. Now, the heavy pollution of the river does not only affect the cost in production, but also the production level. Most of our pumps are not manufactured to treat this kind of water. They are normally uh, for turbidities around 5 to 10 thereabout. But now we are experiencing turbidities of almost 3,000 and color of 16,000 platinum cobalt compared to the initials of about 200 platinum cobalt that we, is supposed to be the normal. So as a result, the effect is dire on our equipment. Residents of Odaso appear helpless. The Galamseyers work at night. We don't have the means to fight them. We have complained, but to no avail. We were drinking this water, but now we cannot. So just come here to destroy their machines. But the Galamseyers come back the next day with new ones. If soldiers couldn't stop them, what can we ordinary people do? The situation is not too different from the Konongo water treatment plant. Officials disclosed the cost of production has shot up to 80,000 from 7,000 cities on daily basis because more expensive chemicals have to be used in treating the water. So what does the future look like? If much is not done to curtail this or stop this menace, water we are heading towards a point where we have to bring in uh, potable water. It appears achieving the Sustainable Development Goal 6, which targets access to clean water for all by 2030, will be far from attainable for Ghana should the pollution of water bodies linger on. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Ashanti Region.